Welcome back. This is a review of the um, Natsuki Takia's uh, Tsubasa Those with Wings series. Um, now before I say anything else, I, I'm going to say that I had originally planned on making this video like at the beginning of July slash end of June. But uh, yeah, I came down with strep throat and let me tell you that's not fun. And I'm, uh, yeah, so and I'm, I still have a little bit of it left. Of, but it's it's fine. But I wanted to go ahead and get this done so I can not have it have my book sitting there waiting for me to do this. Um, but uh, this is a series that Natsuki Kitakia um, made before Fruits Basket, right before she made Fruits Basket. Um, so I'm not gonna. So it, like if if you look at the I'll show you that. So if you look at the art of it, um, it's like the beginning stages of what you see in Fruits Basket. Um, now, um, I'll go ahead and, I'll show, go ahead and pull this out. I'll go ahead and read you the synopsis for the series so that you know what it's about. Um, so, um, Tsubasa, those, those with wings, is, um, Kotobuki is an ex-thief trying to give up her criminal past. Joined by former military commander Raimon, she has turned to an exciting but simple adventure of finding a normal job, but people seeking the Tsubasa, a legendary object that grants its beholder any wish she or he wants, never stop causing them trouble. Everyone is trying to claim it as their own, and they want to use Kotobuki and Raimon's skills to do so. So what we have here, um, of course this is Kotobuki, this is Raimon, and then this is um, the Tsubasa, as, as you later find out, or kind of. There's more to this, anyway. Um, now, I'd, I'd say that overall, um, I mean, you can, if you want to read more of Natsuki Takia, I'd definitely recommend it. Um, but it's, I don't know how to describe it, it's kind of weird because even though this series is very action oriented in that it's um and that like there's a lot of fighting there's um a lot of gun battles and um people people there's there's quite a lot of blood and people get shot people there's a character who gets who gets shot and who gets their brain their brains blown out at one point well of course they're dead at that point but it, near the end of the series, it's like, okay, that, that happened. It can be very, I guess in this sense, it's a very graphic series, but, and even though it's like sometimes, even though some of the characters in the series later on have like very mature relationships with each other, um, um, I, I definitely wouldn't say it's on the same level, like there's, it's action oriented, but I wouldn't say, and it has a lot of graphic stuff in it. But I wouldn't say that it's, like, mature in the way that Fruits Basket is mature. You know what I mean? And that Fruits Basket dealt with a lot of emotionally ma and a, a, adult and mature things. That's like, yeah, these things happen in your life. Well, and while some of the characters do kind of deal with kind of some of those things, it's definitely more of, I want to say it's action-focused. But then at the same time, it's, and this is what I mean, it's weird. There's a lot of comedy in this series. A lot of comedy. It's, it is quite funny. Um, but, I don't know, it's, it's kind of hard to scream, explain because, like, with Fruits Basket, I, I want to say it was very well balanced and that there was, it, there wasn't too much drama, like, the drama didn't overwhelm the comedy and the comedy didn't overwhelm the drama, it was very well balanced. Um, and then I'd say, like, um, Twinkle Stars is kind of more of, like, it does have comedy, but it's definitely more drama. There's a lot more drama in Twinkle Stars than there is comedy, even though there is comedy in it. This I want to say that even though it's action-oriented and it does have a lot of graphic material in it, not too graphic, it's just kind of like like the, with the person getting their brains blown out, it's just kind of seen in a silhouette. Um, there's, yes, it does have graphic material in it, but it's a lot more comedy than it is drama. Like, even in some of the more dramatic scenes, there's a lot of comedy that's placed in there. So it's kind of weird and hard to explain. Um, 
But again, if you want to read more, you know, Nazi Yutaki, I'd say go ahead and read it. Um, and if you want to read something that it has a lot of action and it definitely has a lot of comedy, I'd say go ahead and read this too. But if you're expecting something that's like Fruits Basket, um, I, w I wouldn't say this is quite like it. There are hints, there are hints, and you can see elements of what, what later became Fruits Basket in here. Like little early developments, and then like with the characters and some of their relationships, but it's definitely not as in depth as what Fruits Basket has. Um, but I mean, other than that, it's really about it with um, Subasa. And again, I, I don't really want to spoil too much of the story, which is why I only read the back of Volume One. However, now I will say one of the big things that's going to be picky if you actually want to go and pick up the series is that although you can actually buy volumes one and two um, new, like you can buy them off of right stuff new, volume three, the only way to get it is used. And that's like, you, it's either usually really expensive by itself or slash it might be in a decent price, but you don't, you really can't be sure how well the condition of the book is. Or you can do what I did when I bought it, when I, and I bought, I bought these off of eBay, and the, I actually bought them all three together, and I saw the pictures, and the, they're actually all in really good condition, as I consider them in really good condition. I mean, they have a little bit of wear and tear here and there, like, you know, here, but that's because these are really old, these are pretty old books, um, but I mean, other than that, that's really about it. I mean, again, I'd, I rec I'd, I'd say it's a good series, and it was a fun read. Um, if you want to read more Nazi Takia things, and it, it, again, it'll be up, up to you if you want to read more action heavy, kind of little graphic, but definitely has quite a bit of comedy to it. Um, but it, it's up to you. I, I definitely wouldn't say it's all on par as Fruits Basket, obviously, but, but nothing, nothing can be on, on, as, um, as good as Fruits Basket. But, um, if you want to give it a read, you can. If not, there you go. Um, other than that, that's really about it. Um, I'm just waiting for the Fruits Basket English version Blu-ray to come out on the 1st. I doubt I'll actually get it on August 1st because, I don't know, that's how I write stuff. It'll probably be like a, maybe a week or two before, I actually, before it actually gets to my house, unfortunately. Um, but other than that, that's really about it. Um, I do have, I am, there is another series, I'm not going to say what it is yet, but there is another series that I, I'm probably going to start up, um, the hopefully that I can start up, um, start reviewing a completely different series that's not, not Tiki Taki related. Um, and I still, of course, need to get the new Twinkle Stars and the new Lisa Lot books, which I haven't gotten yet, but I do need to get them. Um, but other than that, that's really about it, so, uh, thanks for watching, and bye for now.